Alrighty guys, the final part. I have 20 minutes of my phone, guys. See what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how Smith comes back into the major. And what what I'll do is when Smith and them come back, they're naked. I don't want them I don't want them appearing in full in, in with, with their suits. It's kind of silly. You have them appear naked. They're naked, obviously, and they and everyone's like looking, what the fuck? There's like four naked agents in Zen. And they go to the uh they go to the uh, the suit store, and like Smith is like, "This is a nice suit." And the guy's like, "Take it whatever you want, man. You know, just please don't. I, I don't want any trouble here." And Smith picks dress picks picks his suit. He picks this nice green suit. The agents pick their nice three suit. Their nice three suits, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That, and then you get to Sentinels blinking in the rear wall, and Zion panics, obviously. And the Oracle, the Architect, and the machines panic. And the Oracle and the Architect make a deal with the machines. Okay, the only way we can have peace in both worlds with the machines, peace with the machines, peace with the mages, obviously, is if is if you destroy Smith. The only one who can defeat Smith is the one. In the Oracle and the Architect and the machines, like the one must be reborn. The the one the one the one the, the a new one must be reborn, obviously. The the Oracle is like Neo failed. You know what I'm saying? Like we underestimate Smith's power. Smith grew beyond our control. Yeah. Smith grew beyond the Oracle, the Architects, and the Machines control. He even grew beyond the One's control. The One couldn't stop him. Because Neo was not the lucky one. I'm the lucky one. I'm the seventh one. Even though Neo just saved Zara and saved the Matrix, he made a mistake. He made an error. He let Smith come as onto him. And he had to sacrifice himself to save the Matrix and save and save Zion. You see what I'm saying? Whereas me, that that I don't have to sacrifice myself. I now have the power to defeat Smith. Smith has the power to defeat me, but I have the power to defeat him once and for all, and I don't lose the love of my life, whereas, whereas Neo lost the love of his life. He lost Trinity, obviously. Trinity dies in the third movie, whereas I'm not going to have VJ die in the third movie. No, I don't lose VJ, and what? And what? And, and what? And I end up saving the Matrix. I fix the glitch, and I save the Matrix, and I save his eye in the end of the third movie, obviously. And once the third movie ends, that ends the story. I'm not going to tell any more stories. I'm the seventh one, and it's, it's the final battle. It ends after the third movie. I'm saying. And when a baby one is born in the real world, obviously you get this like sperm seed. You get this sperm, and it forms the baby. Where's the sperm? From? Where's the sperm come from? I don't know. I don't know. But like, you can have an idea where you have like the machine. I don't know, you have in the real world, remember when you saw all those machines when Neo woke up at? You have you have that city, obviously. You know what I'm saying? And you have this like light or something like that. And you have and you have like the um the machines, they they the the, the, the light the light the, the, the sperm comes out of this light. And the machines carry the sperm and they and they and they, and they, they, they place it on 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 the thing, obviously, with the goo. And the the sperm goes in the goo and it forms the baby. You can do something like that to make it interesting. And the, the the baby is biologically formed in that from the sperm and the goo. That represents the human side of the one. A biological birth, obviously. And then the matrix is more machine. He's the, the electricity forms the baby, and you see the green code, because it's like a, it's a, the matrix is a dream world, obviously. Whereas in the real world the, the, the baby forms biologically like a regular baby in, in on Earth, something. Like so once the baby the ba you get the scene where the baby forms. The sperm forms a baby, obviously, and, and, and the machines put the, the black connections on them for the plugs. And the moment they plug the plug in the back of the baby's head, the, the baby's now born in the Matrix. You get this electricity. You see the green code, the, the, the skeleton, the green code forming the body of the baby. You know what I'm saying? And you see the light in the green code because, uh, because, because what? That baby is the one. That baby has the anomaly code. The code of the one. The anomaly, the special baby, obviously, right? I'm saying huh? that's my idea. Now, once the, the code forms that body of the baby, you know, and the baby's crying, and uh, my idea is the baby's the baby um, electricity forms in like a junkyard or something like that. And the guy who one guy who works at the junkyard, he, he's he's done his shift. It's late at night. You want the baby forming during the day or night? I want the baby forming at night. And then the agents form. The agents form at like sunset and the baby forms like at night. 
The one is born like, I don't know, five, six hours after the agents form. The agents form in like the city, and everyone's shocked. Holy shit, agents are here, you know what I'm saying? And the baby forms in the junkyard at night. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the guy, the guy here is crying. He has a smoke. He's like, what the fuck? What's that noise? And he, he checks it out, and he sees this, this naked baby. Where's I don't know, the naked baby is in is is the naked baby is in is 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 in a car or something like that or it's on or it's out, on, on the trunk out it's on the front trunk on a car and the baby's naked he's like what the fuck is it where did you come from you know what I'm saying he's like where are your parents he's like was it was it your parents just a bag leave you here like who would leave you here you know what I'm saying and the guy is like he's like you know what I'm saying and the guy the guy the guy has the guy has his like sweater or jacket. He takes his he takes his jacket or his sweater and he wraps the baby with his sweater. Because the baby's naked, obviously. And he brings the baby to his apartment and he has an argument with his wife. He's like, honey, we can't keep we can't raise this baby. We don't even know who this baby is. You know what I'm saying? Well, what if what 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 if he's lost? What if his parents are looking for him? You know what I'm saying, like honey, like, he has no parents. He has, he has no one to raise him. Where did you find him? I found him, I found him in a junker at work. He's like, what parent were just abandoned their child like that? But what they don't what they don't know is that kid is the one, obviously. Yeah. I'm saying, you know, what I'm saying, like, well, just give it, just, just take it to the adopt. What about the adoption center? Take the baby to the adoption center. And the guy's like, fine. He takes the baby to the adoption center, obviously. And that guy and 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 that woman, they have like two kids, and their kids are like, oh, can I see the baby? You know, what I'm saying, oh my god, this baby's so cute. You know, what I'm saying, yeah. And the guy goes in his car, and he 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 he, he puts some clothes. He he, he he goes in his car, obviously. And he drives to the doctor's center. And when he, he speeds, and then when he speeds, the cops stop him. He's like, is that your baby? And he's like, yeah, it's my baby. He's lying, obviously, you know what I'm saying? He's like, is, it, is, is that your baby? He's like, yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's my baby. And the guy's looking at the baby. He's curious because because the, the baby's black and that guy is white. You know what I'm saying? He's like, hmm. He's like, he's like, he's like looking. He's, he's curious, you know what I'm saying? He's like, doesn't look too much like you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, we, we adopted this baby. The guy's lying, you know what I'm saying? Okay, just make, just make, I'll, I'll, I'll let you off with a warning. The cop, the cop, the cop, so he's, he's, he's like, don't speed next time. The guy's is that clear? He's like, clear, you know what I'm saying? And the guy drives to, to, towards the office. And when he drives toward, in the city towards the adoption center, he sees Agent Smith and his three agents walking in the city. Yeah, he looks, he look, he's a bit curious, like, what the fuck? He's like, Agent Smith? Agents are back in the matrix. Yeah, he's shocked. What the fuck just happened? I'm saying, you put do something cool like that, and he drives the baby to the adoption center. You know what I'm saying, yeah. Give me a sec, guys. I'm gonna go get a drink of water. Don't hate me. You know what I'm saying. Excuse me, we don't want to wait.
Alrighty. Sorry for the wait. I have a good 18, 7 and a half, 17 and a half minutes around there left on my phone. And I'll end this video. And I'll watch my video before you guys and then I'll upload it. Then I might make another video afterwards or not. And I'm, I'm, I'll go to bed and sleep. Obviously. Yeah. So yeah, and when he go, when the guy goes to the adoption agency, uh, the adoption place, obviously, you know, what I'm saying he goes and then the, he goes in, obviously, and the the the, 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 the what, the secretary at the, at the adoption center, the adoption center, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, how am I help you? You know, I'm saying, like, yeah, I'm I'm here, I'm 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 here to give this baby up for adoption, and the lady's like, is that your child? He's like, no, no, it's not my child. I'm saying, okay. Do you do 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 you have do you have do you have do you have do you, have, do you, do, um, you do you know its parents? He's like, no, I I I don't know his parents. He's like, okay, do you have do you know their names? Do you have any record of their parents of his parents? He's like, no, no record. It's just it's just, it's just me and him. And the 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 the, the secretary is like, okay, this is weird. You know, said, <laughs> yeah, something like that. You have any form of ID on you? You know what I'm saying? You have any form of ID on you, or is he, yeah, I have ID. Well, no, the baby. Uh, no, no ID. He's like, okay, sir. Um, he's like, okay, sir. Is uh, okay, sir. He's like, in order for the baby to get into adoption, the, the baby must have some ID. I can't. I we can't. We, we, we like, you know, okay, where? You know what I'm saying, okay, where? Where did you? Where did you get this baby? I I found it, and he's, she's like, "Where? Where did you find the baby?" And he's like, "Um, the guy's a little bit embarrassed. He's, he whispers. He's like, he's like, in, at work. He's like, at work. Like, so his parents gave the baby to you, or no, 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 no. I I found the baby on, on its own by itself. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He's like, you found the baby on its own. Yeah, where did you find it? I found it at work. Where at work? Like, where do you work, sir? Yeah, I work. I work at this junkyard, <laughs> and the lady's like, "What?" He's embarrassed. Like, yeah, I, I work at a junkyard. It's like you found the baby in a junkyard. Like, yeah, I found my junkyard, and she's like, "Okay." You know, I mean, sir. He's like, he's like, sir. He's like, this baby does not meet the qualifications for adoption for, for, for to, to be to, to, to be enough for adoption. And the guy's like, "Please." He's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like please. He's like, he's like, this baby has no one, no, no one to raise it to, to raise it. He needs parents. He needs someone to raise him. I can't just, I can't just leave this baby. You know what I'm saying? You know, what I'm saying? Are, you are you sure his parents didn't, may maybe did not misplace the baby. Maybe the baby's lost. He's, 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 he's saying, the guy's like, please, man. You know what I'm saying? What, what, if you were this baby, what, if you were this baby, what would you, if you were this baby, wouldn't you want to be raised by, 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 by someone? You know what I'm saying? The lady's like, she has a smirk on her face, like, fine. You know, and say, so you know, when you got those scenes in those movies, yeah, and like, fine. You know, what I'm saying, and when the guy and they, 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 they leave the baby up for adoption, obviously, and when the guy leaves, he's a bit sad, and he looks at the baby. The baby's like smiling. Ah! You see the baby like laughing. He touches the guy's nose. The guy's like all infatuated with the baby. Obviously, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like you are one lucky baby. You know, what I'm saying, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like good luck, lucky one. He says something like that. Lucky one, yeah. Because I'm the lucky one, yeah. Something like that, I'm saying. But when he leaves, the guy's a bit sad. Because the guy was willing to raise the baby, but his wife did not want to raise the baby, obviously. He's a bit sad, obviously. Then he leaves. And that's the last time you ever see that man. That's the last time you ever see that man. And he leaves the baby in the adoption center. And then you get you get this... The next day, you get like two people. They, 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 they want to raise a child. And they go to the adoption place and they choose me as the baby to adopt. And I'll have my parents be white. I'm a black baby, a black man, but my parents are white and they adopt me. They adopt me, obviously. And then you get the uh, the life of the one in the Matrix. I will you have scenes in Zion? Yes, I'll have scenes in Zion, but I'm going to focus more on my life in the Matrix. As if you focus more a lot on Zion, your movie can be really boring. 
And so I know what I'm doing. You need to keep the story pacing. Have a few seasons on, but focus more on the life of me in the Matrix. And then once I'm older, you now you now see the older Michael B. E. Jordan and you see VJ. But I'll do a thing where when I'm a kid, you have a scene in Zion where Michael B. E. Jordan and VJ are kids. You have a few scenes with them. And then later on, when they're older, it transfers when they're older. Um, 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 Michael B. E. Jordan and VJ, you, you get more scenes with Michael B. E. Jordan and VJ in the Matrix and in Zion, obviously. See what I'm saying? So what I'll do is, once I'm a baby, it's now four, it's like five, six years later, I'm a six-year-old kid, and I have this idea where I'm hanging out with my parents, obviously, and I go, they play with me in a, par in a park or something like that, you know what I'm saying, and my stepfather plays ball with me, and I, he, he throws the ball at me, and I, I try to catch the ball, but I don't catch the ball, and the ball, the ball lands, and then the agent's nearby, and the agent picks up the ball, he's like, is this your ball? I'm like, yes, you know what I'm saying, he's, 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 be careful. You know what I'm saying? He's like, the kids cannot be playing on the streets. I'm saying, one of the agents say that. They don't know on the one. Yeah, look at an amazing story. And after that, it transfers like like, uh, like, like, like 10 years later, and I'm, I'm, a, I'm a junior in high school. I'm in grade 10. I'm a junior in high school. And I get into hacking, and you know I'm saying, and then what? And I get caught. I'm rebellious to my parents. I don't listen to my parents. I get caught, obviously. I do hacking on the side. And I get caught, and I go, it's such a big issue that I, I go, they send me to the principal's office, and then the cops come in and they arrest me, because hacking is illegal, obviously, and they take me to the, and they interrogate, the, the, the agents interrogate me in the base, something like Neo in, in Matrix 1, and I give Smith a finger, I'm like, I want my lawyer, and I'm saying, I'm, 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 I'm like, go fuck yourself, you know what I'm saying, he's like, he's like we can cut you with a deal. You know what I'm saying? If you tell me who 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 you're working for, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm, like, I'm not telling you shit. I say I want my lawyer, and I'm saying, I want my lawyer, and I'm saying, and, and A. Smith like interrogates me, you know. I mean, I'm saying, and, and I end up leaving. He, he's like, you know, you could do five to ten years in prison for this. You know what I'm saying? He's like, he's like, who are you working with? And I'm like, I'm not working with anyone. He's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, go fuck yourself. I gave him the finger, and I know, you know why I'm brave because I have. The, the, what the DNA of the one is in me, obviously. That's why I'm brave. I, I, you have all these creep, these three. I don't. Know, you have Agent Smith, like four agents behind me. And you have like five cops, and they're it's scary shit, obviously. And I'm like, I'm a brave, like six year old kid. I'm like, go fuck yourself. You know, so I tell the agents to go fuck themselves. Obviously, I give them the finger. I'm not gonna swear in the movie, but I'm gonna give them the finger because my movie will be 14 plus. I'll say like bitch and shit in it, and ass, but I'm not gonna have any swear words like fuck no. Ray and R, they act, they swear in it. Whereas P 14 plus, they don't swear. They say bitch, shit, ass in it. And I give, and I give uh, Agent Smith the finger like Keanu Reeves did, obviously. And then, but, but, but Agent Smith, well, Agent Smith and them, they, what, they threaten me, obviously. If you do this again, you, you'll do 10 years in prison. And 20 years later, they find out I'm, 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 I'm hacking, obviously. In other words, when I'm a kid, in other words, when I'm a kid and I do hacking, obviously, it's it's little hacking. I make I know I make a nice extra like two hundred bucks on the side or something like that when I'm a kid. The the moment it's twenty years later, I, I, it's now real. I'm now making real money. I'm making a nice like two grand, fifteen hundred bucks doing hacking on the side. I'm making some good money for myself, obviously, and my friend sells me out, obviously. And once, when I'm a kid, obviously, once when I'm a sixteen year old kid, obviously. Once uh, I get caught by the by, by the agents, obviously, and the, and, the, and the cops, obviously, they get, they let me off with a warning. They call my parents. My parents are furious. They pick me up, and you get this scene where 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 where, where, where I'm silent in the car. You know, and I'm like, Mom, Dad, and I'm, like, I'm sorry. You know, what I'm saying, and they're just like they're just silent, obviously. When I go home, they 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 they, they bang the door and they start yelling at me. It's like how. It's like hacking. You, you this whole time you've been doing hacking. You know this is illegal, right? I'm, 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 I'm like, mom, dad, I, 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 I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'll never do this again. I just want to make some good money for myself. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? I just want to make some good money for myself. You know what I'm saying? You do know you can just get a job. You don't have to do hacking. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and they're yelling at me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're nothing but a disgrace of a son. I ne we never should have adopted you. You know what I'm saying? We never we never should have adopted you, you know what I'm saying? We don't even know where you even came from. The adoption agency told us that that, that that a man found you in a fucking junkyard. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, so I'm like, so you don't know who my parents were? 
He's like, no, we don't know who your parents were. And I'm saying, I'm like, well, and that's how I, that's how whenever I meet, when I go club with my friend, I tell them I never knew my parents. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He's like, get out of my house. And they kick me out of the house. I'm like, where am I going to go? He's like, he's like, just get out of my house. And you got this scene where I go. And then for the first like two days I sleep in, I, I go to some shelter. I'm, I'm, I'm like, you guys have any room? And I'm, I have nowhere else to go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I have no, I have nowhere else to go. Obviously, you know what I'm saying. And, that, and then that very day, I apply for jobs, and I draw, end up, I end up dropping out of school, obviously. And I apply for jobs, and I get a dish. I, you get the scene where I have an interview at the restaurant as a dishwasher. You have any experience? No, I don't have any experience. What's your experience? He's like, uh, what's your experience working in the restaurant? He's like, uh, he's like, he's like, I don't have any experience working in the restaurant. So you don't have any experience working in a restaurant? No. No, so I'm like, please, sir, I need the money. My parents kicked me out. How old are you? I'm like, I'm 16 years old. You know what I'm saying? Are you in school? Not anymore. So I dropped, I dropped out of school. You know that's not a good idea, right? You know, I'm like, ah, school's not for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm done with school. I'm saying I drop, I'm a, I'm a high school dropout. You know what I'm saying? I'm a high school dropout. Ivan, where do you get the idea of dropping out of school? I got the idea of dropping out of school. I don't. Really, I, I think it's cool if you have the one drop out of school at 16 years old. He drops out of school. He doesn't finish his education. He drops out of school. School is like meaningless to, to me. And I, my, 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 what, what I'm really good at is hacking. Obviously. That's my talent, obviously. I'm like, please, sir, I need some money. I, 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 I need an apartment. I need to pay rent. You know, I'm saying the guy, the guy is, okay, 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 okay. You know what I'm saying? Are you, are you a hard work? Are you fast? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I'm very, I'm, 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 I promise or I'll work my ass off for you. And don't come late. You know what I'm saying? We know we don't like employees who come late all the time. Don't worry, but I don't come late. And I come late like all the time, right? Yeah. And I get the job and it shows me, it shows me I'm working as a dishwasher, obviously. And I, and I meet, I meet, I meet a guy who works there. I'm on break and I meet this guy who works there. He's a server or whatever it is, or, or he's a line cook in the back. Of the restaurant, and that guy is like, he, he's like, hey man, what's your name? I'm like, oh, my name is this. You know what I'm saying? He's like, he's like, he's like, is this your first time working in a restaurant? Yeah, it's my first time working in a restaurant. You know what I'm saying? He's like, hey, you know I'm saying, you want you you want to make some good money on the side? No, I'm like, I'm like, uh, I'm like, ah, I'm fine. I'm, I'm. He's like, look, man. He's like, he's like, he's like, look, man. He's like, look, 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 man. You you can't you man you can't make a living off fucking being a dishwasher. You need to make some real cash. You know what I'm saying? The guy, the, 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 the guy, the guy, the guy's like, he's like, I'm like, okay, well, okay, shoot. Whoa, 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 what are you, what, what are you thinking of? I mean, is it illegal? He's like, he's like, yes, it is. He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a hacker. You know what I'm saying? You want, you, you know, me, me, me. I'm, I'm just starting this hacking thing. I'm, I'm making some good money on the side. I think me and you would be, we would, would, would make a good fit. You have any experience? I'm like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a hacker too. You know what I'm saying? He's like, you're a hacker. I'm like, yeah, I'm a hacker too. You know what I'm saying? He's like, oh shit. He's like, what a coincidence. I'm saying, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he, you know what I'm saying, and he gets me. He gets me into hacking, obviously. And then me and him, we we have this like hacking business, and we make we're making good. I mean, you you see, you know what I'm saying? And and, and we, I go clubbing with him. I I go I go I go I go with him, obviously. I go, I go with him, obviously, and I'm, I'm, and I'm saying, and 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 what? I go to this bar with him, obviously, and he, 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 um, I go to the store. We get beer, but we're not old enough to get beer, so we we get someone to buy beer for us, obviously, and we we we, we, we I go to the guy's apartment. The guy has his own apartment. The guy is like my age, but he has his own apartment, obviously, and he's 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 like me and you. We're gonna make a good team. You know what I'm saying? And we we have a beer. And it transfers twenty. And we we have a beer, and I'm like, I'm like, hey, look, man, you you can make some pretty good money off this, and I make a good like two grand just doing hacking on the side. I make like nine hundred, a thousand bucks doing dishwashing. You know, what I'm saying, it's, and, I, and then it transfers twenty years later, and I've been working in that restaurant for twenty years, and I'm now a supervisor. Like I'm a now an experienced dishwasher, and my friends been working there for twenty years, and I have my nice apartment, my 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 my, my, my crappy apartment. I have enough money to live in an apartment. You know, my friend has this nice apartment, obviously. It transfers 20 years later, obviously. It's 
system center. You got the life of the one in the matrix. I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna tell the car sisters guys. Make sure you focus more on the life of the one in the matrix, less on what's going on in Zion. Otherwise, if you focus more on the Zion stuff, you can really really bore the viewers. Hence, why focus more on the life of the one in the matrix. Zara. Yeah. Now, once I am older, you now get scenes with Michael B. Jordan and VJ when they're older. In Zion and, and, and a bit of a bit of the stuff in Zion and stuff in the Matrix. But they don't know Agent Smith has returned, Sam Sarah. So even though Michael B. Jordan and VJ they go into the Matrix, they don't they haven't they, they, they don't know that Agent Smith has returned. And they find out he's returned when they when they meet the Oracle, and the Oracle tells them that the Agent Smith has returned. Like the only one who can stop him is the one. And the Oracle tells him that a new a, a new one has been reborn. And Michael B. Jordan's like, so you know who the one is? And the Oracle's like, that answer you have to search for yourself. And Michael B. Jordan's frustrated. And he ends up going clubbing with VJ, obviously. And he has a drink with her, obviously. And, and he, he hey, do you want another drink? And I'm saying, yeah, yeah. And he, he buys a drink. And I happen to be right next to him talking to my friend. And I tell the guy, you ever feel like you're dreaming? I never knew who my parents were. He's like, holy shit. He pulls VJ over. He's like, I think I found the one. And that's what leads to the story, obviously. Look at an amazing story. Yeah, man, look at a masterpiece. They got an amazing story, yeah, man. And then when he tells my friend, obviously, he puts a listening device on him. And when he agent Smith and the, and, and, and the cops catch him, Mike B. Jordan is hearing all this. With, and you see you see him and, like, Brie Larson and, like, John Cezanne, they're hearing all this. And Mike B. Jordan's like, holy shit, they're after, they're after him. They know who he is. The, 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 holy shit, they're after him. You know what I'm saying? His friend sold him out, man. If they find out who this man is, they're going to kill him, yeah. And that's when Mike B. Jordan tells VJ to go deliver that deliver the phone the phone package to that guy, and the mailman deliver delivers the package to me the next day, and I get that call from Michael B. Jordan. They're after you, yeah. Holy shit, Yes, I don't want to tell a good story, man. Look at a masterpiece. You're looking at a fucking masterpiece, guys. Trust me, I have a picture in my mind. If you tell that kind of story on the big screen, you're looking at an amazing masterpiece story. But I need the college sisters to help me. I need John Family to help me. Guys, please, I need you guys to help me. I want to tell the, the best story ever. I need you. Oh, I don't worry. I will help you. And they help me out. And I write, I write this amazing script. And my major shows even rival Zane's, even rival Zoe the Reigns. Yeah. I have, do you think your major shows will be better than McCall's sister's shows? I don't know. I'm not going to say that. I don't want to be cocky. But I think my movies will be better than Revolutions and Reloaded. But I don't think it'll be. I don't. I don't. I'm not going to say it'll be better than the first major. Because the first major is a masterpiece, I'm saying. It'll be close, man. It'll be close, or if not better. But most likely, it'll be pretty close, I'm saying. And it was if this video. Um, you guys will see this video in a good, I don't know. A good, like, I don't know, five hours from now. And I'm going to enjoy the show before you guys. I have an American. I'm signing up. Peace.